Hi everyone, I'm Scott Davenport. This video is about basic workflow in Luminar 3. It's part of a series of videos to help you get up and running with Luminar 3 fast. In this one, we're gonna concentrate on some quick basic techniques for editing your photos. In this video, I'll work on this photo of the lighthouse and I'm still in the library module. I press the space bar and on the top, I have my presets turned on. So I have all of the different Luminar looks across the bottom here. And we can choose any one of these. Like this mood enhancer looks interesting. So this contrast enhancer. I have a few other different categories. I don't know how dramatic on this particular lighthouse. I think personally, I like the essentials better. So I'm gonna to return to that. And let me just choose this uh, soft and airy. Let's go mood enhancer. That one looks pretty cool. If I click on that. I immediately get an update to the photo and I can dial forward or backward the strength of that overall look to decide just how much of it I want. And I'm kind of liking where it is at about 70%. And part of applying that look also revealed a few dust spots up in the sky, had some sensor dust going on there. Well, I have access to the retouch tools right up here in the tools. And so I can just do a little erase. And then using my erase tool, I can quickly get rid of those few dust spots. I'll just do a couple of them so you get the idea. And then I'll hit erase. Click done and we'll be back in the library module. And that's a very quick and easy way to edit your photos using the presets and the looks that are built right into the library module. I wanna show you a second workflow for very basic edits. It gives you a little more control, but still makes it easy to adjust your photos. And that's going into the edit module. I'll return to the grid view and momentarily just wanna point out that now that I've edited this photo, there's a little badge that shows up there showing me that this photo has been edited. I can also right click on it and do adjustments to all of the different settings in the photo, including resetting all of those edits that I've done. And I'm gonna do that here. So when we go into the edit module, we'll do the same photo. We'll start with the core raw file that's been there. With the photo selected, I'll choose the edit tab on the right hand side. And this will launch the full editor with all the different filters that we have in Luminar 3. If you've been using Luminar before, this will look very, very familiar. The only thing that will be new is the, the film strip here on the left-hand side where I still have access to all of the different photos that are in my library. I'm gonna hide the presets and I'm gonna work in the filters area. And let's move to the quick and awesome workspace. A workspace is just a collection of filters and you can create your own. As a matter of fact, I like this one. I'm gonna set it as my default. So the next time I come into the edit module, I have the AI filters and a couple of other controls that I tend to use on all of my photos. So I'll start with the accent AI filter and just start pushing that up. And as it's rising, you can see you know, the shadows are opening, the colors are getting better. You know, the AI part of this filter is doing a whole lot. Sky enhancer, there's a healthy sky in here. So we can enrich that with the sky enhancer. And I tend to like sky enhancer to about half strength or so. It all does depend on the photo. I add a touch of saturation and I'm really kind of watching the red of that roof. I want to get that to, to jump out a little bit. Same thing with vibrance and a touch of clarity, right? Now, again, I have those same dust spots that were removed. Same process you just saw. I pop up into the tools, grab the eraser, and I can touch those away. But the quick and awesome workspace is really nice. It's also customizable. One more thing I might want to add to this photo is a vignette. So I still have access to all the filters. And here's a vignette. I'll add that to the stack, close down that filter list, and then I can adjust the amount of a vignette that I want. So I can increase it. Let's take the, the feather very far down. And so that when I make this dark, you can see right where that vignette's being added. We'll adjust it there and then maybe just feather it back out. Be increase its size a little bit so it's only affecting the corners. And that is a very basic workflow in Luminar 3. You can quickly get a nice look for the photo in just a handful of steps. Let's take a look at the before and after with the slider up here at the top. And we can see the difference, right, before and after. And there is just a whole lot happening there. There's even a little bit of that uh, lens correction is happening with the Accent AI filter. You notice the shift in perspective there slightly. And so that is a wonderful result 
with a very small amount of work put into it. So that is two examples of some quick basic workflows in Luminar 3. And you can get a really good look on your photo with either one of the prepackaged looks that are in Luminar or with the quick and awesome workspace and a little tailoring of your own. That's not all there is to Luminar though. It runs a lot deeper. There are some more advanced tools in it. Another video in this series will show you some of the more advanced capabilities that Luminar has. So if you really want to craft your image from the ground up and add filters in your unique way, you can do all of that too. My name is Scott Davenport. And thanks for watching.